All right, I want to say all praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. The respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the earth. This lesson is going to be entitled, Many of These So-Called Sisters Are Devils. And the reason why I'm saying that is you're going to find out. Um, there was a video that I put up, and this is my alternate page, GMS Bible Teacher SC. There was a response to a response that an elder apostle Gabar did to a video that I made. Um, my uh, response to his response was called camps, street ministry, go stand in the gates. OK, now from the comment board, let's just get right into it. There was a sister, right? Um, So-called. Let's go to a page to begin with. And uh, I'm trying to get the name. Can't exactly get the name. Anyway, you see this person, this Viper, <laughs> has got a few, you know, a few brothers that she watch or whatever. I think it's Princess Jasmine Judah, formerly, formerly Princess Cuts. I think that's what the title of her page is. In any event, there was a question that she posted. I'm going to show you this question. And after that, you can see her responses. And in a very uh, serpent-like way. Okay, striking as a viper with uh, a person that's got gal in their soul that's got a problem with. I don't know, obviously, she got a problem with somebody, but it ain't like I give a shit. All right, so the question says just a question for all camps besides preaching and spreading the gospel. Are there any other works you brothers do besides what we see on camera? Now, right away, I kind of, you know, take a little bit of offense to the question because it's like you're asking us to do more. And we already have the best job that any man can have is preaching the gospel. Right? As a matter of fact, it's so important to the point where Paul said this. Let's just go to it and, and uh, bring it out. Um, let's see if I can get it. Right? And you're going to find out, you brothers, a lot of people have a problem when we talk, you know, bad about the so-called black woman or the israelite woman but what you're going to find out is most of these women they're just here for their own belly man they don't they don't really care about the truth and you're going to find that out right you're going to find out from experience and you're going to find out from the comment board you're going to find out by the way they behave and i didn't say every woman i didn't say every israelite woman i said many of these so-called sisters are devils and you're gonna you know you see it over and over and it's old this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, covet, covet to prophesy and forbid not to, not to speak with tongues, that all things be done decently and in order. You see, you're supposed to desire above all things to be in the ministry, right? That's how important it is. You know, um, all these, you know what? I don't know. That was a scripture I was going to bring out, but I'm going to just skip it. I want to get right to the comment. So she asked again, just a question for all camps besides beside preaching and spreading the gospel. Are there any other works you brothers do besides what we see on camera? Like that's any of your business, right? Now she's talking about, I took it to mean ministry work, but right away it's offensive. Because like what you're saying is like the preaching of the gospel is not enough. Anyway, here's how I answer back. Yeah, so the person's name is Princess Jasmine Judah, formerly Princess Cuts. And I said, what else you want us to do? Open soup kitchens, feed the homeless, open a nursery. Luke 9, 58. How shall I say unto him, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. He said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Yahweh shall say unto him, Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. And then I said, GMS is the ministry of the prophets. Prophets prophesy. 1 Corinthians 1 17, for, for the anointed, Hamashiach, sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Hamashiach should be made of none effect. There you go. That's the answer, right? We don't do all that other stuff. We preach the gospel. We bring forth fruit. We go and teach. We preach. We bring out the truth. That's what we do. This is our job. This is the essence of what we were sent to do. 
Not all men have the same office, but our office is we're the prophets of the Most High. We teach the word. We don't have time to be opening no damn soup kitchens, right? As a matter of fact, this is what the Lord said for us to do. This is the only reason we're still here. Somebody that doesn't understand that don't get this. This is Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So let me, let me, let me go back. The Most High is holding back the destroying when he sent angels to destroy America, Babylon the Great. But he told them, you guys wait until the elect is sealed. So our job is to help in sealing that elect by preaching the gospel. This is the most important job on the planet. Because what? The kingdom is going to be established through those men that come into the truth, the 144,000 through Yahweh Shai. There's nothing else more important than that. Opening the soup kitchen. Opening the daycare, nursery, feeding the homeless, all that shit is nothing compared to the preaching of the gospel. It is the number one job on the planet. I ask you again, what do you want us to do? You people are a bunch of assholes. And a lot of these so-called sisters are a bunch of devils, man. All right. So I came back and I said, what about you? Do you have any works, thou princess of Judah? And then she says, actually, I do, Mr. GMS, South Carolina 04. I have an apparel business. So... We'll be starting a book club for children of color for my child. <laughs> I donate to shelters, donate money all the time, but don't broadcast. I hope you don't take offense to be asking just some men of the Lord don't teach on the streets and feel as though camps condemn them for not teaching on the streets, especially recording it. Wait a minute. Are you speaking for these men that feel condemned? If they're condemned, they're condemned by their own spirit. They condemn by the fact that they're not out preaching the gospel like Yahweh told them to do. He told men to go out and preach. I just read Revelation 7 and 1. It's the most important job there is. Let me go back. She has an apparel business. Is it for the kingdom of heaven? No. You so. Is that for the kingdom of heaven? No. We'll be starting a book club for children for of color for my, for my child. Wait a minute. You people of color. Your people are not people of color. If you're an Israelite, you're a princess of Judah. Right? Your people are the Israelites. Are you doing anything for the Israelites? Mm, I would say not. She says, I have a, a book club for children of color for my child. I donate to shelters, donate money all the time, but don't broadcast. Well, you're broadcasting it now by making it known unto me. Like I gave a shit. Right? What's that doing for us? Is that helping the brother? So here it is you donate money to shelters and you're donating money to, you donate money all the time. But brothers in the truth need cars, garments, books, Bibles, all types of shit. You hadn't gave one penny. Right? Where's, where's all this help for the Israelite community? You got your mind on the world. But you are princes of Judah. You see? Going on, I hope you don't take offense at me asking. Just some men of the Lord don't teach on the streets. Wait a minute. If you're a man of the Lord, you're going to be on the streets teaching the word. What man of the Lord don't want to be on the street teaching the word? And he goes on. Just some men of the Lord don't teach on the streets and feel as though camps condemn them for not teaching on the streets, especially recording it. If you don't record it, if you don't go live, who else is going to see it other than the people that's right in the room with you when you do it? Because you said they don't teach on the streets, so obviously they're not people walking by back and forth to and fro seeing these people. So what good is it really doing? You see, it's futile. See, in her comments, she doesn't even really realize how fucking stupid she sounds but you know what the only reason i allowed it to go on and left it on the comment board is so that i could make a lesson off of it and after that it's going to be wiped out nobody's going to ever know and you do not exist but let's just read a little more saying they are going off by not joining a camp is misleading nobody said they was going off and not joining the camp as a matter of fact as she's going to go on to say gms said people can't join the camp so i don't know who you're talking about we ain't saying people ain't go, are going off and not joining the camp because we're not taking any more members. Who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? <laughs> anyway, she says, saying they are going off by not joining the camp is misleading. I've been watching you in particular for a while and some other GMS members been in the truth for three years. 
not joining a camp is not doctrine of devils. Other men have lot. Uh, other men have other lots. We already know that. We know that every man is not a prophet, right? But you can do something for the ministry. And as of yet, these hidden men that are men of the Lord, we have not seen them. Where are they at? Brothers need things. The ministry need things. The lost sheep. What did you have a shot say? Let's go there, real quick. And you know what? I can bring it up into this window right here. When you have a shot said, feed the sheep, feed my sheep. He did not mean open up soup kitchens. Okay? Because anything you try to build up here in America, Babylon the Great is going to be utterly destroyed. Why would you bother? John 21 and verse 13. I'm going to start at verse uh, 20, 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shah said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Feed my sheep. And what did he mean when he said feed my sheep? He meant feed them with the word, right? He said he meant feed them with the word. Let's get a precept. Isaiah 55 and verse 1 says this. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that, that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? And your labor for that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. There you go. Also, Yahweh Shah said this. Right? So when you, when you hear it said, feed my sheep. He didn't mean open up a soup kitchen and feed the sheep. He didn't mean go down to the homeless shelter. You know? And not that that's bad. It's not a bad thing to do, you know, to do good deeds. Okay? It's not a bad thing to do good deeds, but our main focus and goal is this ministry. John 6, 51. John 6 and uh, 47. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the Father, as the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue, as he taught in Capernaum, Many therefore of his disciples when they had heard this said This is a hard saying Who can hear it You see When Yahweh knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it He said unto them Doth this offend you You know And you can you know you can go and read the rest of that And many people get offended And they walk no more with the Savior Or with the men of the Lord Speaking with the Savior's words Because they get shook off Right By these hard sayings they say it's too hard. Who can hear that? All you guys do is preach the word. You don't do nothing else. Well, that's, we do our part. What are you doing? If we do everything, then what you going to have to do? Right? As far as I know, she didn't do nothing for the ministry. She talked about doing things for people in the world. But anyway, let's read the next comment. She says, yes, and many GMS men, there are yes. How come you guys don't open soup kitchens or whatever it may be to show your works besides speaking? Like there's something else. You have to walk the talk. People don't reciprocate to every man teaching on the streets. Your house shall won't miscount someone as an elect because they don't teach. 
Everyone that teaches is not a prophet. The idea is that only because you're in a camp, you are a prophet or you are of the elect. That seems to be the doctrine pushed because they, because they don't have videos. Yahweh shall perform many miracles. Now, at this point, I'm reading all this shit. And I'm saying to myself, this chick is being fucking proud. So you can already constantly see she's constantly going off. She's going off emotions. Now, this is why we say we don't even deal with women like that. When if, as far as the ministry concerned. But you know what? I'm not going to say every sister is like this. But the majority of these damn women, man, they're argumentative. They're a bunch of damn demons. And they're fucking proud. You see? She's barking up the wrong tree. I ain't did shit to you, lady. Okay? But anyway, going on. She put up. So she says that seems like the doctrine pushed her because they don't have videos. You need to have. Hey, if you're a man of the Lord, you're going to be teaching the word. Bar, that's it, man. What man of the Lord is sitting there holding back the damn. Not the damn. But holding back the gospel, man. Right? Yahweh Shah said this. Let's, you can get rid of that one. Get rid of uh, Revelation 7. This is Luke 19. And verse 8. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Yahweh shall say unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is the son of Abraham. There's nothing wrong to giving, giving money to the poor, right? Let's go on. Uh, let me jump down. Uh, verse 10, for, for the son of man has come to seek and save that which was lost. How you going to do that? How you going to seek and save that which was lost, which is the house of Israel, the lost sheep? You're going to go out and preach the word to them, right? Feeding the homeless is not going to help you save the lost sheep or help help you help the lost sheep get saved. Let me rephrase it. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because he he was nigh to Jerusalem and because they thought that the kingdom of the Most High should appear immediately appear. He said, therefore, a certain noble went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We will not have this man reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And this money is a parable, but this money is dealing with the knowledge of the truth. The house I gave you knowledge of the truth in order so you can preach the word and bring in a, a more amount than you had by trading. What are you trading? You're trading with the word. The increase that you're going to gain is people that you tell about the truth and the Holy Spirit will bring in more. Help and seal the elect, right? And he said unto him, well, thou good and thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in very little, have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said, Likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. This represents the man that got the knowledge, and he ain't do shit with it. He ain't got no videos. He ain't teaching nobody. He just say he a man of the Lord. Because he know a few scripts and he got a goddamn shirt with fringes on it. You see? This shit is stupid, man. The fucking people out there, man. Most of them start putting your asses to death. Talking shit. You fucking women gonna get fucked up in this destruction, man. Running your fucking mouth. For I fear thee because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest thou not, gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury. This represents that guy, man, that won't do the work. You see, Yahweh Shah called him a wicked servant. Why did he call him wicked? Because this guy knew the truth, and he kept his fucking mouth closed. He buried the towel in the napkin. He stayed in the house like a little bitch. And then he got his wife to go and fight his battles for him. And she, listening to this bitch-ass nigga bellyache, decides to make a comment to somebody that's doing the work. Right? Unveiling her own fucking guilt and her folly before the whole congregation. Now you out of there. You on out of darkness, you damn nigga woman. And he said unto them <clears throat> that stood by, take from him the, t the pound and give it to him that had ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he had ten pounds. 
For I say unto you that every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not even that he hath shall be taken away from him. But those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So all you weak ass niggas out there that you got your baby mamas and wifey taken up for you, right? The princess of Judah taken up for you. The Most High is going to kill you, man. Now she goes on here, and that's a parable. Showing you plainly that men that have the truth, you're going to teach the truth or the Lord is going to fuck you up, man. Period. You think you know something, you're on some kind of level to whom much is given, much is required. No excuses. That seems like the doctrine pushed up because they don't have videos. Yahweh shall perform many miracles. What does the miracles that Yahweh shall perform got to do with us preaching the word or niggas not preaching the word? She puts up Matthew 24 and 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall he deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and, shall, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. What in the fuck does that have to do with what we talking about? And then she goes on. Now this is not calling you out, so don't take offense. Well, why in the fuck did you post it? I'm not talking about that. You asked me a question, I answered your question. Then I asked you a question, right? You see? But no, it's not aimed at me. Now, this is not calling you out, so don't take offense. IUIC and all these other camps ruined it for the ministry, so my question is legit. Hey, if you learn from IUIC, that's on you. That's your fault. But the Most High gave you space by allowing you to find Great Millstone. And what are you doing here? You're talking shit. You're talking shit, right? What are you worrying about IUIC for? They ain't doing shit. You said they ruined it for the ministry, but they didn't ruin the ministry. They ruined their ministry. The ministry of the Lord is going forth, and we bring it forth many works through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But see, confusion, see? This is why we tell you women don't post me on the comment boards. Open your mouth up that much because then you, what's going to happen is you're going to, hey, which really I shouldn't be mad because this is just another demon revealing herself. As you as you see, and you're gonna go on to see more, all right? But we tell you, women, you ain't. Why is this woman on the comment board with me, posting scriptures, doing? Normally, I wouldn't even entertain this shit, man. I would have been shut it down, but I guess the spirit just had it go go the way it's going, and I'm okay with it, right? I'm okay with it, man. Let's just read the rest and then wrap this shit up. And then I said, so I, I said, uh, so she says, so my question is legit. And I said, I answered it. Our job is teaching the gospel. We're done here. She asked me, do we do anything else? I said, I basically said, I didn't say no straight forward, but I said, our job is teaching the gospel. I just came back and said, our job is teaching the gospel. We're done here. Meaning I don't have nothing else to say to you. Now, at this point, I'm like, maybe, you know, she just confused or something. You know, let me just not block her because I recognize her from coming on different, you know, coming on live streams and different things. But I see now she got a new name, so I guess she got a new attitude. I don't know. I just knew her as Princess Cuts, but it's Princess Jasmine Judah, formerly Princess Cuts. So I stand corrected. Anyway, in response to what she said about the doggone, you know, her uh, what she did, donate money, this, that, and the other. I started to say something smart, but then I didn't. I just said, you know what, good for you. And then I left it at that. She comes back. Don't get upset or hurt. LOL. It's just a legit question. And you, and you clearly didn't answer. It's fine. See, accuse me of not answering the question. Did I not answer the fucking question? I said, our job is to preach the gospel. We doing our job. Who the fuck got time? You know how many videos I put up last week? I probably put up 12, 9 or 10 videos a week. You think we got time to put up videos, right? Live streams, go to work. Uh, do our you know stuff around the house? We got our own family. You think we got time to open up a goddamn soup kitchen to feed the homeless of two thirds and wicked ass people of the world? We feeding the sheep. We doing what's required of us. You want us to do more? What the fuck are you doing for the kingdom? You ain't doing nothing. But then you questioning us, and then go on top of that, gonna wax proud. That's a proud response. Don't get upset or hurt. LOL. It's just a question, and you clearly didn't answer. Like you, you know, like you cut me now. You know I got the power to just remove your whole comment. Nobody ever sees it. Nor you. Right? Which is what's going to happen. But I'm going to finish reading this and doing this lesson for, for edification. 
She says, it's fine. Continue teaching, brother. Then she uses two, one, two, as in two, to each, to each its own. Steady fucking going off. Then she posts more scriptures. First Timothy 6 and 1. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor. That the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And by the way, she has not yet once said Yahweh or Yahweh Shai in any comment I've seen. So that tells you a lot. But she uses the scripture saying the name of the Most High and his doctrine be not blasphemed. Verse 2. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. What does this have to do with what we've been talking about? She just posted scriptures trying to sound deep, trying to act like she cutting me because her pride has got her going now. You see, her pride is, 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 is ramped up and she's in and she's doing this in defense of all those great men of the Lord who have no works. <laughs> Verse three, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, how shall how much to the doctrine, which is according to godliness he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, even surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. Wait a minute. Do we suppose that gain is godliness? We've been called bums by some. We don't have money. What are you talking about? Supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. Then she, GMS has a cap on how many people can join the camp. Wait a minute. You contradicted what you said earlier. We're not looking for followers. We're preaching the gospel. And the, and the, and the elder apostles put a, as she says, a cap on who, who can join the camp. About why? Because we got enough men teaching the word. We want other men to teach the word. We ain't looking for members. We're not looking for money. We're not looking for anything from the world. We're just doing our jobs. See this? You see this bugged out shit? And after that, I was done. GMS has a cap on how many people can join the camp now up here what did she say let's look back she says not joining a camp is not a doctrine of devils other men have other lots <laughs> so she was saying she was defending not joining the camp down here she says we're guilty for not letting people join the camp see damn if you do damn if you don't many of these Israelite women are devils many of these so-called sisters are devils and i just got you know i just straight cussed out i didn't even cuss i told her you can't hurt me nigga woman it took a while but your adverse spirit came out you're dismissed run back to iuic and the things of the world so you care about people of color i was referring to that she said she opened up a book of whatever she said right open up something for her child for people of color and I say, so you care about people of color? Not the Israelites. Typical. Second Timothy 3 and 6. For of this sort are they which creep in the houses, like IUIC, and lead captive silly women laden with lust, laden with sin, excuse me, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And that's you, Princess Cuts. Princess Cuts, that's you. You ever you ever learning, but you hadn't you don't have the truth. You don't have the understanding. You don't know that Yahweh Shah and the Most High and Yahweh Shah did not send us here. Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah did not send us here to open up soup kitchens, but to preach the gospel. We read Revelation 7 and 1. That's the only reason we're still here. Revelation 7 and 1. Hurt not the earth, neither the tree, nor the, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the service of our God in their foreheads. It didn't say hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we open up soup kitchens till we build up our economy till we build up our communities till we open up a fucking orphanage right open up a daycare center didn't say that we only here to preach the word you dingy broad you see you demon you know and i mean that's that's pretty much it man i mean that's the thing i wanted to show many of these fucking women man they're not sisters they vipers, they serpent, they lay low undercover, and they really don't agree with a lot of stuff that we say. But see, this is the thing: these people talk shit, but they watch the videos, right? They watch the videos because they're the, the group that they've been learning from are not bearing for bearing any fruit. They're not bringing forth any living water. They're stagnant. G O C C, I U I C, I S U P K, all these other groups, man. They a hey, they just 
they benefiting off of all the work that the apostles been doing all these many years. Now these guys, they may put up videos, but they ain't, and nobody is as fervent and heated in the spirit as Great Millstone, right? These other groups, they just fly by nights, man. They just on the side, looking for followers, looking for money, looking for fame, looking for more more people to join their, their uh, congregation so they can get more money. Us on the other hand, we shut niggas down, man. We ain't here for that. We here to bring forth the truth. That's the only reason that Yahweh Shai even got us here. The only reason that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has us here. We ain't here for none of that other shit. And we don't give a shit. If you don't like us, we don't give a fuck. Okay? And as for this chick, Princess Cuts, she blocked. You know, if you can, uh, if you can hear this, you don't need to come back on no more of my live streams. You made your choice. You're done. I don't want to see your ugly face on nothing else that I got going on. I'm gonna have to go and uh, go to the, you know, in order to, to get rid of this chick, man. Okay. I'm gonna have to go, you know, and uh, I'm gonna take your damn comments down. Nobody's ever gonna hear about you nor hear from you on these pages. And you can kick rocks, alright? You can kick rocks. You can fuck off. Pretty much. Now let me bring something out, man. Um If you knew the scriptures, you would do this. Instead of being on the comment board trying to talk shit, right? See, this is the thing. These so called women, man, and I ain't talking about all the sisters, because you got some sisters that's, you know, that seem to be alright. But we leer of you damn women, man. You know, for the most part. First Corinthians 14:34. 33 for the most high is not the author of confusion but of peace as in all churches of the saints let your women keep silence in the churches we ain't in church brother we are in church anytime where two or more are gathered in my name i'm in the midst of them was not i on the comment board you on the comment board live streams going on you're in the chat room chatting talking too much you're doing too much let your women keep silence in the churches for it's not permitted unto them to speak but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. And Princess Cuts, if you got a man, that spineless, jelly, spineless jellyfish, he need to take you in the back and do something to you, man. You know, straight up. And I ain't talking about violence. I'm talking about this, of a sexual nature. Because you got too much time on your hands. And obviously your mouth needs to be filled up with something else other than Harsh rebuke coming my way like you on that level. And you don't even understand what you posted. You laid open your folly and now you're done. And you are not welcome on any of my comment boards. So you can you can kick rocks like I said, man. Let this be a warning to you brothers out there, man. You see these damn women. And the brother was right. The brother GMS Living Waters just made a lesson and I put I reposted it. Beware of the Israelite women, man. Okay? Many of these so-called sisters are a bunch of devils, man. And I'm going to leave it right there. It probably went on too long. I'm going to leave it right there. I want to give all praise to the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Enough respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the earth. See you soon with another lesson, Lord willing. Like the scripture says, the mouth of a fool will swallow up himself. And you heard this mouth and this fool, this ratchet jaw running off at the lip. Close that beak. Shalom.